I love, love, love teaching, and I love getting people to sort of accomplish things that they never thought that they would be able to do. Holly Dyson loves hanging in the air. She is an aerialist who not only teaches others at the Vertical Fix in Tempe, she performs across the country. We're hired out for corporate, corporate events, for like corporate Christmas parties or people's 40th birthday parties or, you know, wedding events and uh, high school pep rallies. A life Holly has been living for the last 10 years. So when she broke both of her heels last November during a Ninja Warrior type obstacle course, her active lifestyle was turned upside down. We had ropes set 15 feet apart from each other, so you have to climb up on a platform, jump with your rope, swing, release, fly through the air, grab the next rope. I missed my grip, I missed the rope, I missed the mat. So my toes landed up on the mat, but my heels hit the concrete barefoot, and they just exploded into 30 to 40 pieces each heel. Holly made a trip to the emergency room and found out surgery was the only option. A friend referred her to Ortho Arizona foot and ankle specialist Jason Lake. Holly had a calcaneus fracture, which is the heel bone. With her, we were able to do it with a minimally invasive approach, so we made a small incision on the side. We were able to dissect down, reduce the fracture using a, a combination of little incisions and poke holes in order to get the uh, fracture reduced in a good position. And then we have some new plates that are a little bit smaller than the old place, and we combine those with long screws placed through small incisions. And I've, I've found that, that this is actually as stable as the old way we used to fix it, but allows for lower wound complication uh, rate and then better range of motion and earlier range of motion. Holly's surgery on both of her heels was back in December. She had to use a wheelchair to get around in the beginning. She was in a splint for about a week. We switched her over to cast for just a couple weeks until her stitches came out, and then we started her with physical therapy and range of motion to try to keep her from getting stiff. Holly is definitely ahead of schedule in the recovery process that can take anywhere from 12 to 18 months to get back to normal. This includes starting physical therapy a month earlier, and she even got the chance to do some minor aerial moves five weeks after surgery. And they built, built me up like slowly enough that I never had any real like, ah, this is too much. Holly is now back teaching. While she just did another procedure to remove the metal hardware in her heels, she's motivated to stay in the air injury free. No one who breaks her calcaneus is ever normal, but I think she's going to be able to do most things she wants to do. It's been a lot better when I've had doctors who have said, we want to get you back to doing what you want to do, not we just want to get you back to everyday life.